Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So this is the first video of our tutorial series. Today we will learn about GitLab introduction and getting started. Let's see the agenda of this video. So in this session we are going to learn what is GitLab, how to create an account on GitLab and then we will create our first project on GitLab. And I will go very basic step by step in this entire series. So if you are a complete beginner or if you have no prior knowledge on GitLab, don't worry, I'll start from basic and we will go up step by step. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's see what is the difference between Git and GitLab. So if I talk about Git, it is a version control system and here git is used to locally track our changes so this is a version control system to locally track changes in a in your project or it can be a folder so once you add your folder or your project to git it will start tracking for changes and also push and pull changes from remote repositories like GitHub, Bitbucket and also like GitLab. So this is what Git is. So again, this is a version control system and it is used to locally track changes in our project and also it is used to push and pull changes to the remote repositories like GitHub, Bitbucket and GitLab. Now, what is GitLab? In fact, a GitLab GitHub and Bitbucket provide similar kind of services and what is this? So these are services that allow to host your project or it can be your folder on a remote repository and have some additional features as well to help in your software development life cycle and also your CI CD that is continuous integration and continuous deployment. So this can, this can, they can, they can be feature like managing of your project, users, etc. Sharing of code and can be a wiki or a documentation service. Bug tracking can also be there as part of the feature. And CI and CD, that is continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. So all these services can be provided by this service like GitLab, GitHub and Gitbucket. And these are the cloud services. So we are going to focus on GitLab. So let's see our first step, which is go to gitlab.com and create an account or sign up. So this is the website gitlab.com and you will also find some documentation here. So you can see now do not worry on whatever is written here. I will explain you everything step by step. So for now, let us go and I will click, I will click here and here. Also you can sign in with Google or GitHub or this all. So for now, I'll go manually. So I'll click on register now. Here. You have to provide your name, username, your email ID and password. So let me just have my name. And this will be my username. And I'll add my email ID. And I'll use some password here. And click on recapture. And I'll simply say register. Now it will send a confirmation email. To your email id so let me just go and check yes i have received it it is here and i'll just click here on confirm so this will confirm my gitlab sign up and now we will sign in so this is going to be our next step which is sign in to the gitlab so i'll use my email or i can use the username and then password and simply sign in so 
Now here we have to provide our role. So this is not very important, but this is for personal personalize your experience. So I will select here the DevOps engineer. I want to learn the basics here, just me. And here I would like to create new project and then simply continue. So now we have successfully logged into GitLab. Now here we will create our first project. So I'll click on create a project and here I'll click on create blank project. So this will take you to this screen to create a new project. You can give your project name. So I will just say this is my first project and that's that's it. You can give some description which is optional and you can keep it private or public so if you want to be accessed by anybody without authentication you can make it public otherwise keep it private and then just say create project here you can see the project is now created and here you also get a warning like you will not be able to pull or push project code via SSH until you add an SSH key to your profile. So this we will learn in the in a later video. So how to add as a SSH key. So it will be very easy. For now, we have created our project, and you can also go to this clone, and here you will see the link. So this is to clone with SSH and this is the HTTP link. So you can copy it from here or the address bar and this will be your project link and this you can use whenever you want to pull or push. So we have created a project on GitLab. So this was very basic. In the next session we are going to go deep and see how to add users, how to fork project, create branches and all these things. So I hope this was very helpful and hope you enjoyed the session. If you have any doubt or any question, you can write them down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.